Hey Sue here. We are finally getting to the fantastic Tony Bennett. I thought it was time for us to do some of his stuff on the channel because we have not done anything as of yet. He was a brilliant singer and an amazing human being and I am very excited about this one today. We are going to do Fly Me to the Moon. I know the song very well by Frank Sinatra and I've also heard Michael Bublé do this song. I've probably heard other random people perhaps doing the song but I've never actually heard Tony Bennett sing Fly Me to the Moon. So today is going to be a first time listen for this song for me. So before we get going though if everyone could like the video and subscribe to the channel and if you really like what I'm doing you can always click on that super thanks button. All right here we go. The amazing Tony Bennett Sorry it took us so long to get to him, but we are here now and I am going to enjoy this first time hearing Fly Me to the Moon by Tony Bennett. Poets often use many words to say a simple thing It takes thought and time and rhyme To make a poem sing With music and words I've been playing so great. For you I have written a song to be sure that you'll know what I'm saying I'll translate as I go along So cool! That's, yeah, different. Fly me to the moon Yes! And let me play among the stars Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars In other words song and let me sing forevermore you are all I long for all I worship And adore. Wow, what a stunning, beautiful version of this song. He completely changes the entire arrangement from this, the, the versions that I know that were much faster. You know, they had a completely different kind of arrangement. The Frank Sinatra, the Michael Bublé had a lot, much more of an upbeat kind of feel to it. This one is so jazzy. And his voice is so smooth and there's such that, that 
that sexy saxophone in this with that beautiful piano sound and he even started off the song completely different than I have ever heard before with kind of like a bit of a preface at the beginning having a bit of a discussion about the the song that he was going to do which I thought was really really kind of cool this is an amazing version to be honest I think this is the my favorite version of this song I've ever heard he just takes his time he's not rushing this it's just so gorgeous it's absolutely amazing his voice oh my gosh it is so smooth and so deep and so clear it's so it, again sexy sounding it's just absolutely amazing he, he his I cannot say enough about his voice but this song is fantastic I'm loving every second of this it is just so so beautiful I'm gonna rewind a little wee bit here all I worship and adore in other words please be true in other the very end so absolutely beautiful ending with those strings and then that piano oh absolutely gorgeous I loved every every second of that I'm gonna have to do more Tony Bennett because that was just incredible Anyway, uh, my fun fact for the day is, well, I actually have quite a few because Tony Bennett was a very versatile guy. I just wanted to give you a little background on, on Tony. First of all, he started singing in the 1940s and his last performance that he did live was in 2021. So think about this. He passed away just about a week or two shy of his 97th birthday. So depending on when he did this live uh, appearance in 21, he could have been 95 perhaps, 94, 95 years old. Absolutely amazing that he's still going even at that point in his life. It was incredible. And as he aged, his voice still was so beautiful. I mean, when he did that duets album with, with a bunch of different um, famous people, Again, his voice sounded absolutely brilliant. But he was um, very, he was very awarded. He had Lifetime Achievement Awards. You know, he was he had 20 Grammy Awards, of course, to acknowledge all of the great things he had done. He had two uh, Emmy Awards. He was just, you know, amazing. But he was just, he was an amazing human being as well. He was actually quite a well-known painter. Uh, and he painted under his uh, real name, which was Anthony Benedetto, or just Benedetto. But he was also in the U.S. Army. He was in World War II as an infantryman. And in 1965, he actually was involved in the marches from Selma, Selma to Montgomery because he was a very huge supporter of the civil rights movement. This guy was so versatile and just such a very kind of a robust human being. He just, you know, seemed to have it all. And, uh, just can't say enough about him. He's so great. Anyway, if you'd like me to do more Tony Bennett, please put it down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to do it because this was amazing. And maybe there's some other songs that I've not heard. I don't really know. I mean, a lot of these kinds of songs have been redone by many people. I don't actually ever know who did originally did the Fly Me to the Moon. And if anyone knows that, put it down in the comments. But there have been a lot of these kind of songs, these jazz kind of iconic songs have been done by many people and I may not have ever heard them by him. So 
please put anything down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to check them out. All right, everybody, have a joyful day, and I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye.